Hi, this is Matt from tracymat.co.uk and here is the Optima Pico Pocket Projector which we're just going to have a quick look at. This is a tiny pocket size projector and here you go, here's the projector itself as you can see really very very small. Um, we'll look at that in more detail in just a moment, I'll just show you what else we get with the kit. There is a nice pouch for the projector, um, has belt loop should you wish to attach a projector to your belt um, but it is magnetic catch and will keep that pretty safe and sound in a bag also have a battery um, and in fact it does come with two batteries one already installed in the projector uh, and this is a, a spare one it's uh, 1100 milliamp hours then we have a charger which is USB style so you just use a standard USB to mini USB cable in this charger uh, to charge the projector. It will also charge from a PC using a mini USB cable. And finally we have a small box with a couple of cables in. One of them is the video and audio cable. So we have a small 2.5mm jack with four poles uh, which picks up the composite video and left and right audios. And then we have the standard mini USB to USB connect cable so that we can charge it. That is only for charging, doesn't do anything else. You can't hook the projector up to a computer or anything like that with the USB cable, it's purely for charging. Uh, last of all, there is this small screw here. Now that screws into the bottom of the projector uh, and then will allow you to connect the projector onto uh, a standard tripod so you can actually mount it. That's quite a cool idea. So if we just push that stuff out of the way and have a look at the projector itself. As I say, very, very small. Looking around the projector, we have the AV in socket there, which we we'll plug in that cable. A little focus control dial there, obviously for focusing on the screen. Lens at the front, we'll see where that's where we project from. Switch on the side for on off. Um, there is a halfway point so this controls the brightness effectively so you can have half brightness and full brightness connector for our USB power cable there nothing on the back there on the bottom this is where our battery goes so battery pops in like so as I say two batteries are supplied which is handy so that if you actually are out on the road and uh, you know do quite a lot of presentations that would be handy and, and this is where we screw in that tripod adapter just on the bottom there. There is a speaker just on this side so that we actually can get audio out of the small projector. So what I'll do is let me just plug in the cable. Let's just plug in a video source. Now I have a, a video camera just, just situated behind me. So let's just plug all this in. Uh, I should mention the spec very quickly. Uh, the it's DLP and it uh, uses an LED backlight, um, which is actually quite bright, as I'll demonstrate in just a second. Contrast ratio is a thousand to one, um, and the resolution well, it will support PAL and um, NTSC video sources, but the video resolution or resolution of the uh, LCD in there is half VGA, so that's uh, sort of like 480 by 320, which isn't bad, and the batch the lamp life is like 20,000 hours because it's LED um, and it's also quite robust being LED there's no filament that's going to break um, so let's just power that up and we'll just project on the table here turn it up to maximum brightness now bear in mind this room is actually quite bright um, it is daytime <coughs> um, what little sun there is, is uh, kind of overhead as it were. Um, so it's not bad. If you're going to use this for a presentation, you'll want to use a, obviously probably a proper screen or certainly a white wall. Um, and you'll probably want to dim down the uh, dim down the lights somewhat. But if I just pan the other video source around, you'll see what we get. Yeah. as you can see there now some people are actually saying that they actually have better results projecting onto black 
um, which isn't obviously going to work too well where we've got such bright conditions and, and I am probably can gather I am in a conservatory so it's going to be as bright as as you you know you're going to pretty much get it but even so you can still see that there is uh, you know it's it is quite bright the projector is quite bright and, and certainly for something that you're going to put in your pocket it's quite impressive um, going to be using it actual, in actual fact um, in earnest because I do do occasional presentations so I'm going to take this along with my ordinary projector uh, and see how I get on and uh, I'll have a review online on the site pretty soon.